welcome back so now let's just start working on the custom info window the remaining work the first thing that I will do we will just initialize the custom info window controller add in the prospect.yml we have already just add that now we have to go and just initialize it above the widget bill there's a widget bill okay and above that in here we'll have that control so we'll say final key is going to be non-changeable then we say custom info window here we go with the suggestion now we will make that private so in here we'll say custom info window the object name in here and then we will provide the custom info window controller just assign that in this specific object name and now what I'll do I'll just go toward the specific method and we will do the remaining work for the custom info window now below that in here it's gonna take the on tap event in here call the braces and take this down so we have to just call upon the controller okay and then we say just add the info window to it so add info window to it in here braces and write it and semicolon take this brace down in here we'll provide a container widget okay take this down in here remove that semicolon put comma now in this container we're gonna simply just do the decoration so first we will set the height okay for the info window in here we'll set it to 300 and also the width gonna be something 200 right after that let's do the decoration in here box decoration okay take this down in here first we'll provide the color so the color is gonna be let's go with a white and then we'll also provide the border so in here border we'll go with the dot all and then we'll just provide the color for the specific border it's gonna be colors there we go we'll go with the gray and right after that in here comma also border radius so the border radius that we will go with the dot circular and we'll go with the 10 point o right at end semicolon now right after that in here we'll provide the child okay and in here we will have a single child scroll view widget have that in here then we say child gonna have the column widget in here okay in there we will set some properties the first one that we will set is going to be main access alignment okay we will go with a dot start and right after that let's set the other one cross access alignment we will set that toward the start and right after that we'll go with the children take this down we'll have a container widget and take this brace down in here first we'll set the width it's gonna be 300 and right after that we'll set the height to 90 right after that let's do the decoration it's gonna be simply box decoration in here simply for the image that we will show right in our custom info window so in here we will say image and then we say decoration image braces in here take this down in here image and we have to provide the network image in here now simply just open the browser and search for any image that you want simply we will copy the URL of that specific image and then we will just paste it right in those strings so it's gonna be then whenever the code will be complete and we will test the app it's gonna be them right in our custom info window 
so simply I just choose this image on the Google and I'll copy this specific URL right above as you guys can see right in here okay control C go towards the Android studio now in here we will just paste it the URL specific okay and write it and remove that semicolon and put comma take this down now what I'll do we'll just set some properties for the specific image that we will show so we will fit this and then we say box fit and we'll say fit fit that is fine right after that we'll also provide the filter quality which will be simply filter quality we will go with a dot high and right after that in here comma you will provide the border radius for that so we'll say border radius dot all okay and then we say radius dot circular we'll provide 10.0 and in here comma also in here comma now below this in here put comma and then we say padding widget in here remove that for now we will edit in a while and take this brush down in here padding you will do edge insect in here we will go with the dot only we will set the top for this specific custom info window it will be 10 and then we will set the left to 10 also the right will be 10 and after that child in here now we are going to take the row widget because all of the detail that we will provide for this specific image is going to be in the row so we have to take the row widget you guys will notice that whenever we will test the app so in here row widget then we say children and write in the children provide the size box widget and simply we are going to give the width between those details that we will provide right in the row widget so we have to provide the width it's going to be simply 100 and right after that we will provide the child and text widget now we will say Toyota cars ok that is going to be our detail for the specific information that we will show so in here comma and right after that max line we will set for this will be 2 ok and also we will set the overflow simply for the text overflow will be we'll go with the fade one and right after that we'll also provide the source wrap and we'll simply just set this to false and now scroll down below this size box in here we'll provide the spacer widget in here okay it will just create a flexible space and just to insert it in a flexible widget now right after that we will show the text in here it is going to be something like we'll say three minutes okay and write it in comma now below this padding what we will do we'll have another padding widget add it in comma and take this down in here we'll say padding we'll do edge insect in here we'll go with the dot only also we'll set this property down below in here for a time saying paste it and then we'll take the child we'll show another text the data right for the specific image in here provide string and we'll say something like Toyota car cars 
showroom also you'll say buy one for good price here you can give whatever you want I'll just provide that text and we will set the max line let's set it to 2 because it's because it's a little lengthy text in here so we have to provide that and also the bar max line is 2 all is fine but then we will go down in here put comma and just take this down we will just provide the latitude and longitude that we have right in here okay that one with the specific integer type a the index so copy that from here and go down all the way in here past it okay and since it's a stateful widget so we have to provide it's gonna then just change the result dynamically call upon that in here now we will go down and jump right in the google map we have to just set the custom info window controller right on on tap right in the google map okay so in here we will say on tap and then in here we will provide the position S I T I position and in here curly braces take this down now what was your object name custom info window controller now in here with this controller we'll say dot hide info window with it provide then I'll check then braces edit and semicolon now go down and in here we'll say on camera move and in here we'll just provide the position and right after that curly braces take this down now we have to just call upon the custom info window controller and then with it we'll say dot camera move I'll check in here braces in here and edit and semicolon right after that we're gonna have the on map created as I explained this right in the previous videos so now we have to provide the google map controller and with it the controller and then copy braces take this down now we have to just assign the controller to what let me just write it in here to the custom info into controller and with it we'll say google map controller we just assign that and right after that scroll down so right outside the google map now in here you will simply just call upon the custom info window it's a inbuilt functionality that flutter have so right in here we'll say custom info window so in here if you guys notice first let me just remove that if we write in here the custom info window the name right down in here for the inbuilt functionality of flutter and if you notice above in here that specific class name which is by the name that we created before custom info window so the name gonna be similar and it will just catch that specific name then so it will not work properly and it will give us an error so we have to just click upon that and we will go towards the refractor and then rename with it also we will just write markers okay then simply refactor it now the name has been updated towards the custom info window marker now if you go down and in here now we can simply just call upon the custom info window it will not give us error so we have to write in here custom info window there we go okay 
and here just call upon that that first one custom info window for now on we'll remove that controller we will add it in a while now write at n in here comma and tag this brace down and here we will simply now just call upon the controller and the controller will be the custom info window controller okay just call upon that in here and right after that we're gonna just simply just set the height in here for that specific info window and it's gonna be something like 150 and right after that we're gonna also set the width to let's say 200 and right after we'll set the offset to 40 okay and we are having that one here above let me just check we have to just add in here the null check okay so click upon that click on this red bulb and add the null check there we go okay all the error has been gone now and I have already explained this code earlier in detail so there is no need of doing it again I'll just add the const modifier just to remove those yellow lines and the code will be clean then okay now let's go ahead and just hold to load the app from here and we will just check the output now let's go toward the map okay first in here as you guys can see those markers now if I click upon that it will just show you the custom info window that we just created right in our code okay that we add all year this network image for it for the custom info window okay which was simply for the car and we add some details for example this text Toyota cars and three minutes ago and lastly this Toyota car showroom okay we just has been done with this specific design as I explained this earlier now come here right on the Google map and if I click on this specific marker it will just show you the custom info window okay let's go ahead and click upon it there we go as you guys can see the image okay and the details that we provide right in our code and you can simply just scroll down and it will show you the remaining details as you guys can see that specific text Toyota car showroom buy one for a good price as we added a max line too and you guys can see that in here and it's working totally fine okay now we will move towards another marker let's say if I click on this it will show you right the specific design that we just created okay right in the beginning of the video for example this design it will be now right in here click upon it there we go it's working totally fine and now if I click on that it will just will be right in here on this specific marker click upon it there we go there we go okay so you guys can see that it's working totally fine and that's how you guys can add the custom info window and according to your personal choice you can do the specific editing and all of the decoration that you want so I hope it's clear now and basically that's it for this video right from the next video we will be working on another concept so see you then